Howdy folks, it's one of a nine here from one of a nine TV and world of tanks tips and tricks.com. And today I'm bringing you some map strats for Prokhorovka. So this website, first of all, is called stratsketch.com. Amazing website. If you're doing skirmishes, clan wars, whatever you can think of, stratsketch.com is your best resource for making map strategies. It is amazing. I use it all the time for skirmishes, for clan wars, etc. And I will be using it for this. So, first things first. We need to make sure that everybody understands a few things about Prokhorovka. You've got the northwest hill here. You've got the normal hill right here. This whole section here is the rail line, which divides the map into the east section and the west section. You got mid here, you got the dip here, and you got road right here, which goes all the way down the side here, which is a favorite place for TDs to camp. All right, so what are all these fancy colors on the map? I have this in orange and this in orange because these are two mutually supporting positions. You can shoot from here to the enemy team that is going to be here, and you can shoot from here to the enemy team that is up here. These two positions mutually support each other. You can't win the hill without having tanks pressuring the enemy in mid, and you can't win mid if you don't have tanks pressuring the enemy on the hill. So you have to work together to win this area of the map. And if you can win, hold them as stalemate here and win here, you can now take this position or this position and shoot them in the back, which is extremely important. So what's this purple section here? This section here is another good hold down spot for your good hold down tanks. But I'm not really a big fan of it, and I'll explain why. You can be shot by everything, all the hidden tank destroyers here or here. You can shoot anybody who is here. So it's a high risk, high reward position. It only works, it's only useful to take this spot if your team has no mid presence and you're getting shot up constantly from hill and there's nobody pressuring the enemy tanks from the hill. So then if you're getting shot, torn up here, you can move over one spot and use that instead. But I always be believe that it is more important to hold this spot than this spot because you can't as easily be shot here from tanks here or here from tanks here, and you're never going to get return shots. That's the big problem. If you can get shot, you can also return fire. It's not as big of a deal. But because you can't really spot the things here or here, you're just going to get torn to pieces by those tanks here. And it's kind of impossible to keep your turret pointed towards both sets of enemies because they are going to be either shooting you from this angle or from this angle. All right, and then you got the dip right here. So if you have a fast hold down heavy tank, like for example, a Kronvong, you may decide to be aggressive and take the dip right here which basically means that the enemy team can't move past here because you will spot them through the bushes as they are moving, even though they would in theory have good camo, your percentage value, their camo percentage value isn't enough to defeat a tank with decent view range that sits here. And a Kronvong does have decent view range if you kit it out correctly. But the most important thing you need on the one, two line, the road, is these light tanks here. If you are only one light tank on the team, you can do a quick spot run mid, but you have to take this position here, or like to some extent, like there's a good bush here, for example, or bush here, or you can go a little bit further back, take like one of these bushes or like one of these bushes along this area. But basically you as the light tank, you need to be the eyes on this because if the enemy light tank spots your team, your team is just simply going to get shredded by the unspotted enemy TDs that are sitting here. All right, so now for tank classes or tank types, where do I think you should go? So tank destroyers, especially your slow casemate TDs, 
you should be sitting in these areas here. Uh, make sure that you have a light tank to spot, or if you don't, if your light tank dies early on, and their light tank isn't, keep pulling back further into the bushes and make them come to you, or hope that you have a medium tank or somebody who is willing to take on the role of the light tank. And some games don't have light tanks, but if you have a better medium for spotting, hopefully that medium will do the spotting role. Most heavy tanks should either go here or up to the hill. It depends. If you don't have great gun depression, play here. If you have good gun depression, play the hill. If you are more like a mouse, a tog, for example, I did this strategy on uh, my stream the other night, play here. Just sit in the back and just use your gun. You're not going to do any good here. You're just going to be farmed for HP. You're not quick enough. You're not mobile enough. You don't have enough armor to, at all angles to play these type of positions. Uh, but your hold down tanks, you want to be mostly here, maybe one or two here. Mediums. You can kind of go wherever you want. Depends. If you're a sniper medium, you can set up in the back here or here. Or even here if you're in the north. Or you can go down the line. Uh, tank, Medium tanks that have good hull armor, are good gun depression, good turret armor, take the hill and try and bully the enemy team off the hill as early as possible. Because the hill is a massive uh, source for being able to pressure your opponents and win the game. You can control the entire east side of the map from hill. So that is a very important position, but again, you need this to support it. Your tank destroyers, I've already talked about, you guys need to go here. If you're um, a fast, speedy TD, you can kind of sneak up to here or here, depending on which side you spawn. Uh, but don't play here as a TD, or here, or here, or don't try and play here, and don't be too aggressive here. Your SPGs just kind of hide in the back along here, here, here or here, make sure that you can either support the tanks here or here. Those are the two biggest areas for SPGs. If you try and fire into this area, you're going to be sitting and waiting for a long time. you got to keep your gun firing to damage the tanks here or here. And if you have multiple light tanks, you can send one mid to do some active spotting for your artillery to support you, or you can send one up to the hill, and he can sit in like one of these bushes here or here. And get some vision out, you know, spot about to here. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was Prokhorovka Map Tactics. Thanks and goodbye.